everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and today we're going to learn how to crochet this beautiful open shell stitch. As you can see it's a very light and airy lacy crochet stitch pattern but it's quite simple to work. It's the same on both sides and uh, you can let me know how you would use this stitch in the comments down below. Today for this tutorial I'm going to be using the paint box yarn Cotton Aran as well as a five millimeter crochet hook. You can find links to both of these items in the description of this video. As well, there you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. Thank you so much for joining me for this st stitch tutorial. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if uh, you enjoy it, and um, don't forget to take a look around. Our stitch today is worked in rows. You're going to start by working a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain and your foundation chain needs to have a multiple of seven plus five stitches. So today I'm going to chain a total of 26. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin by working a double crochet into the fifth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four, five. Into that fifth chain, work a double crochet. Now the skipped chains there at the beginning count as one double crochet stitch and a chain one. So they'll be treated as such. You're then going to chain four Skip the next six chains and then into the next stitch you're going to work a double crochet, chain three, and a double crochet all into that same space, into that same stitch. Chain four, skip six and into the next stitch work a double crochet chain three and double crochet you're going to repeat that all the way across to the final six chains then into the final six chains you're going to uh, chain four, skip six, and then, sorry, it's the final seven chains. So chain four, skip the next six, and then into that final chain, work a double crochet. Chain one and double crochet into that final stitch and that brings you to the end of your row one for row two you're going to chain three which counts as a stitch and turn your work next you're going to work three double crochet stitches all into that chain one space so into that first chain one space work three double crochet Next, single crochet into the next chain four space. And then into the next chain three space, work seven double crochet. Three, four, five, six, and seven. 
you're going to repeat that all the way across. Single crochet into the next chain four space, followed by seven double crochets into the next chain three space. Repeat it all the way across. When you come to your final V-stitch and chain four, you're going to single crochet into that chain four. Work three double crochets into that final chain one space. And one double crochet into the uh, the top of what would have been the chain three. So into your third chain of your starting chain. And that brings you to the end of your row two. For row three, you're going to chain four, which counts as a double crochet stitch and a chain one and turn your work. Next, double crochet into that same stitch, into the first stitch. Next, chain four. And then double crochet, chain three, and double crochet into the fourth uh, stitch of your uh, set of seven there. So you're going to skip the next three double crochets, skip the next single crochet, and then into the fourth stitch, one, two, three, four, work a double crochet, chain three, and double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across, chain four, and then into that fourth stitch of that set of seven down below, work a double crochet, chain three, and double crochet. When you come to the end of your row, you will chain four, and then into your final stitch, into the top of the chain three, work a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet stitch. And that brings you to the end of your row three. At the end of your row three, you can chain three and turn your work. And now for the rest of the pattern, you're simply going to repeat your rows two and three for as long as you would like. So to go back to your row uh, two, you're going to chain three, then work three double crochets into your chain one space, uh, a single crochet in the chain four, followed by seven double crochets into the chain three space and so forth. And then to work your row three, which is the row that we just worked. That's all there is to working this open shell stitch. Thank you so much for joining me. Once again, take a look around and I look forward to seeing you again next Sunday for another free stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. <music>